So a crop that we've been testing at SeaTech for a number of years is hybrid rye. Hybrid rye has some really good characteristics that I think every arable grower should consider in 2020. First of all, it's a hybrid, so it's got some really strong rooting development. It's able to withstand hardship over the winter, and it's able to produce a very high yield. Typically in the SeaTech trials, the difference between Graham here on my left and the rye on my right, apart from the obvious difference of about a half a meter in height, but there's also a yield difference about a half a ton to the acre of rain yield extra in favour of the rye. The variety we're looking at here is KWS at Mondo. It's a variety that's a very stiff one to stand. As you can see, we're here on a windy day, but I'd have no problems with rye over the last number of years lodging on farm. It seems to be able to sit into each other. It doesn't cause a problem at combining. And in terms of fusarium, sprouting, grain quality, rye really is a secure option for harvest. At this time of the year, people are saying, can I sow something a little bit earlier? Rye doesn't get take all. It doesn't seem to suffer from BYDV. It's certainly an option for drilling in September. So KWS Edmondo and KWS Bono are two very good options for growing in 2020.